Are you enjoying that pizza, Jeff? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah? Is it? Well, it's like breakfast pizza. I got potatoes and bacon. Jeff, uh, could you please tell us the story of how you met Brooke? <laughs> um, so I was back during the Vancouver Olympic Games. They were uh, doing all the interviews for the snowboarders in the Olympics. My mom has a friend who works at Nike and he says, I mean, she said that, um, that Sean White was gonna be there. So I emailed Brooke from my phone number telling her that I could get her in to interview Sean White for Yobi piece, but he wasn't there. Pretend I'm Sean White and this is your interview. I don't know, um. What would you ask me? I'll be Sean. Why don't you like um, do more stuff for the core snowboard community, I guess? I do, I do all sorts of shit. I'm way, I'm awesome. I have a band and <laughs> I make awesome things. Who the fuck are you? I'm, a, I'm nobody. That's pretty much how that interview would go. So I think <laughs> it's actually probably a good thing that you didn't do that interview for us. Okay. <laughs> Is Yobi played out now? Um, kind of, but because Back in the day, I felt that um, it was more people who snowboard like a lot, but now we get like a lot more casuals on the side, I guess. And then we got like assholes like Germ posting stupid comments all the time. I think we can both agree that Germ's an asshole. Yeah. You guys wanted to grow. That's the point of how like capitalism works. It's like you need to grow, get better, and stuff, and that's what you're doing. So that's good. And like. I don't know, like, look at companies like Capita, like, they're huge now, but they still, like, go through the cycle and keep reinventing themselves in a good way to stay relevant and stuff, which, like, you guys are trying to do. Are you Timmy Shredhead? I'm not Timmy Shredhead. I just want to ask you one more time. Yeah. Are you Timmy Shredhead? No, I'm not Timmy Shredhead. Tell me the truth, Pulse! <laughs> Are you? No, but I heard it was Hondo's <laughs> They call you the athlete. Tell me why. Um, I have a, my friend Nolan, he's a skier, and he calls all his favorite skiers athletes. And I thought that was hilarious, because snowboarding does take some skill of athleticism, but it's... What dozen. is athleticism? I mean, I don't And I was like, oh, Ben Bullock has like a great switch He's such a great athlete, and then um, he started calling me an athlete, and then I'm just stuck. Have you ever masturbated to a girl's snowboard part? <laughs> no. I haven't. We want to know Jeff Fulce's opinion, the true snowboard opinion. Who's killing it? Who's blowing it? What's up with the snowboard industry right now? I think the snowboarding industry is good, but I think there's a lot of trendy things I don't care for and stuff. Like, a lot of people are like all about like drinking water and stuff, which I think is... Okay, I think Austin Smith's a hypocrite, and here's why. Alright, in his, he did this one interview where he talks about um, how snowboarding's blown out as a corporation and stuff, yet he rides for companies like Nike and stuff, and like, I don't know why he's hating on energy drinks when they bring money into snowboarding, they don't take away anything from smaller companies. And it gives a lot of those riders that don't get as much as their sponsors to get stuff they wouldn't be able to do normally, so I think that's a good thing. But I don't drink energy drinks, I only drink water. Before it was trendy. Are you the boss snowboarding dog at NHSSC? <laughs> no. Rick Millen is. <laughs> How would you describe that camp? Is it the camp for nerds? <laughs> no, it's just more for like more casual people. Like a lot of people would get like don't know anything about the Chinese side of snowboarding, so they just want to show up and snowboard. Do you ever get the opportunity to hit on hot ski racers? Um, not really. We don't get that many college teams as we used to. Do you think that has anything to do with you working there, or the colleges don't want to come back because they were weirded out by the one guy? <laughs> what do you think about more, snowboarding or Pokemon? Um, right now Pokemon, because X and Y just came out, I really want to get it. 